hi guys welcome back to my channel let me introduce myself because i have quite a few new subscribers and i just want to let you know who i am my name is clara barrera the name of my channel as you know is beauty is ageless 55 i am 64 years old and i like to do uh, unboxings and with from my beauty subscription boxes hauls um, mature eye looks and skincare and everything else that comes across that I think is interesting that um, I like to do as a mature woman I don't feel that there's any rules we all need to do what feels good for us what makes us happy and I don't wear makeup according to how old I am I wear makeup according to what makes me happy so with that this video is a instead of buying this buy that and I know this is nothing new this is not a new idea I've seen it on other channels but I wanted to try something a little different on mine and this one that I'm doing today my first one is going to be on high-end products and these are products that are, are either similar in there I try to pick stuff that is in the same price range more or less within a few dollars maybe but that they have like the same function or they're supposed to have the same results on your face and what I think is more what I like better for me what works better for me okay and some of the products I kind of they're okay I'm still going to use them because I have them but it's something that I will not repurchase well on the other end I will repurchase because I do like those products so let's begin I'm going to begin with um sunscreen okay and this one is for Kula and this is an SPF of 50 and this is the classic face sport kula sunscreen i don't like this sunscreen for my face i don't like it it's very oily it is very heavy i feel like it doesn't get absorbed into my skin um it doesn't leave a white cast uh i don't think it does anyway when you put it on if it looks like a moisturizer almost but and it feels like a moisturizer it smells a little bit like sunscreen but not in a good way not in a coconut you know tropical island kind of way it feels like the SPF kind of way so I don't like it because when I put it on my face looks not even glowy it looks greasy and I have a hard time I have to let it really sit for a long time before I can put my makeup on especially during the weeks when I was going to work every day because now I'm working from home I don't have the time to sit there for half an hour and let my sunscreen so soak in. You know, I may have five or ten minutes, but I'm, I don't have that much time. So what I've been doing is I've been using it on my chest and on my neck because that I don't care how long it takes and I don't care if it looks glowy, but I haven't been using it on my face. I am going to use it up because this wasn't cheap. I have the prices so that you will know that, you know, they're comparable in price. So let's see, because I did all my research yesterday. Okay, the cool this one is $32. Okay, for it is organic and it's for 1.7 ounce tube. Okay, now one the one that I like is from pharmacy and it's the green defense uh, broad spectrum 30. Now this one's 30 instead of 50 but it's also 1.7 this one is $36 so it's $4 more this one is amazing when you put it on your face it gets absorbed again it doesn't leave a white cast this one doesn't have a scent at all it's totally 100% unscented this has very good ingredients they're both um, uh, mineral sunscreens is that what it's supposed to be mineral yeah okay this one like i said has no scent whatsoever so you don't even smell it when you're putting it on it does get absorbed right away into your skin your makeup goes on beautifully over it even if you don't wear a primer the other one sometimes it pilled on my face with the primer because like i said if i don't have enough time to let it soak into my skin 
when I put my primer on or my foundation, it will peel up. You know how you get those little things on your face that they're kind of hard to get rid of. So definitely between both of these, I will repurchase this. Hands down, without a question, I will not repurchase this one. Okay, the next one is an under eye primer. And this one is by um, Estravectin. And this is called the Anti-Wrinkle Blur Perfection for Eyes. And you can use it on your eyes or and under your eyes. And this is supposed to be blurring and it's supposed to uh, blur your fine lines. Okay, this to begin with. It separates really, really bad. Every time you go to use it, you have to mix it for several minutes or you're going to get just this watery, oily liquid coming out first. And I don't like that. And it sinks into my fine lines. So to me, it's not doing what it's supposed to. It's doing what it's telling you that it's not supposed to be doing. Now, I did see this on another creator that I subscribed to. I shook it enough that it you can't. It didn't separate this time. This one does have like a little bit of like a, almost like a correction kind of a shade, but it does sheer out quite a bit. You only use a little bit, okay? And once you sheer it out, you really can't see it. But the very fine lines that I have right close to my lash line, it just creeps in there and it's kind of hard to, you know, smooth that out. Because you're supposed to put it on, wait a couple of minutes for it to dry, and then you put on your concealer. Okay, I really don't like this. This really does sink into my fine lines. So, and when I saw her video, and I'm not going to mention her name because I do like her, and I like her content, and maybe it worked for her. Um, it was a sponsored video, so, but, you know, I trust this person, so I want to give her the benefit of the doubt that it worked for her and it's just not working for me we don't all have the same lines we don't all have the same skin so that was my refrigerator the ice maker so the primer this one is the 29 dollars estravectin okay now the one that works beautiful is the smashbox and this is the same thing we're supposed to do the same thing this is a photo finish hydrating primer under eye primer okay and this one is the same thing you just need a little dot and that's a trick not to put too much on you just need a tiny tiny little dot and this is probably enough for both eyes and you just put it under your eyes and you know you kind of pat it in real gentle you let it sink into your skin, and then you can go on with the rest of your products. This one works beautifully. This one does not get into my fine lines. kind of goes over my fine lines. It helps with my concealer looking nice and not looking dry during the day or breaking up. I didn't wear it today, and I can tell my concealer is not looking very pretty today. I'm not going to get very close to you guys. But... This one is really, really nice, and it's the same price. This is also $29. So this one I will not repurchase, and this one I will definitely repurchase. But this is going to last forever, unfortunately. So will this one, especially if I ignore it. So, But anyway, no, yes. Okay, the next, Strivectin got me twice. Same video, same creator. Okay, this is an anti-wrinkle line blur. Bl okay, start again. Anti-wrinkle line blur factor. Instant wrinkle blurring primer. Okay, this is for your face. This one, there's two things I don't like about it. it smells minty, which it's not super strong, but to me the scent lingers a little bit. But that's not even what bothers me the most. What bothers me the most is that when you rub it into your face, you can feel these little particles in there. It almost feels like it has a little bit of really fine sand. I don't know if that's what's supposed to get in your wrinkles, therefore blur them. You're supposed to fill them with these little particles. Um, 
it feels like it has some kind of silicone in there but that's not even what bothers me what bothers me is that sandy texture that it has and I feel like you can rub forever and you can still feel this primer it's like it doesn't really sink into your skin so I definitely do not like that feeling okay this primer is $39 the one that I like is the cover effects and this one is the blurring primer this one is nice this one does an excellent job the other one was clear this one has like a little bit of a tint but I don't think it gives you any kind of coverage when you put it on but this one it goes on your skin so nice and smooth and it feels really really velvety on your skin doesn't have a scent and I mean it just sinks into your skin and your skin feels nice and primed so for the same price It was the same price right this trivectin was 39 and the cover effects is 38 so basically it's the same price so i would not repurchase this again i don't even know if i'm going to finish it and definitely i will repurchase this as you can see i have used it quite a bit and that's pretty good for me because i own quite a few primers so this is a really good one definitely uh, something that i'd like to keep in my collection okay the next one is foundation Okay, I have this Marc Jacobs foundation, and let me get my glasses so I can read it. Okay, this is a remarkable foundation. This is a full coverage matte foundation. Okay, and this is definitely full coverage. When I use this foundation, I don't have to use a concealer. Now, the only thing with this foundation it changes color on me it oxidizes on me within like 30 minutes of having it on I would say probably by one shade I don't know if it does that for anyone else but it does for me it looks very nice when you have it on your skin it really does I like it I think it gives you a pretty look you have to use very little if you use a lot it's gonna look very cakey and very makeupy you know how it's gonna look like you have a lot of makeup on so you just need a little bit a little bit goes a long way I do like it and I'm glad that I have it but the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush is also full coverage I also don't need a concealer with this one again you need a little goes a long ways and it doesn't change colors it stays the same doesn't oxidize on me whatever color I put on my skin it stays so these two I would say they're very comparable as far as the texture the coverage how it lasts on your face all day it does last all day your face your makeup looks nice really all day so I'm very happy with both of them now this one I think is being discontinued because it's like pretty much half price wherever it's available I got mine on Neiman Marcus and I got it for half price and I know that um, Nordstrom has it for uh, half price and so does Sephora but Sephora doesn't have that many shades left but this one is $58 the Marc Jacobs the Charlotte Tilbury is $44 so it's $14 less and you get the same amount I'm sure this is one fluid ounce I can't read but I'm sure that they're both one fluid ounce but really I love them both this is one that you know I'm not going to tell you don't buy this one because it is a nice one especially if you can get a half price but if this one is not available and this is the kind of coverage that you like this one is a beautiful foundation your skin looks really really nice when you're done like I said I really don't need if I take it all the, all the way up to my eyes I don't need a concealer with it it does cover my dark circles you just have to use a little bit you can always add more but it's kind of hard to take it away once you have it all on your face okay the last product that I'm gonna go through is perfume now I love perfumes that smell like uh, vanilla um, warm sugar 
those kind of like they're sweet but they're like warm warm color warm colors warm fragrances i don't like a lot of flowery or i like musk those kind of scents i love this one the kylie by huda and this is a vanilla number 28 this smells really really good but this doesn't last all day and this is expensive this is like a hundred and sixteen dollars i think it is i bought it during i think it was a black friday and she had a 50 percent off her entire site and this is when i purchased it so it was like 58 dollars, which is not bad because it's a big spot big bottle but it really does not last all day so this one like i said 118 dollars, or if you get the 1.7 the 1.7 of this one is 85 dollars. okay this one la vanilla and this is a clean perfume this is amazing usually what i've been doing is i either wear this one alone or i do want to use this up because i mean i pay for it, it smells good just doesn't last but i layer them i would spray them both and that way this doesn't last all day by itself you don't need anything else with la vanilla but and this is the regular vanilla one because they have a la vanilla grapefruit and they have a coconut one and but i like just the plain vanilla this smells amazing guys if you are allergic to regular perfumes for some reasons try this one okay that one was 85 for the 1.7 la vanilla is 48 and right now because i went last night to see what the prices were for the same size for the 1.7 they're having a 25 percent 25 percent off sale through i believe may 10th for mother's day and you also get a free mini of the vanilla coconut if you spend forty dollars so what i did was i ordered this which turned out to be 30 something dollars with a 25 percent off i ordered myself a backup because i really do love it i haven't had it that long and i'm using it up and then so i ordered another one of this and i ordered a roll-on of the vanilla coconut because i do love coconut and i think both of those together it sounds to me like it would smell amazing and then they're gonna send me like the little it's like a little mini one which i actually have one of those mini ones in my purse let me go get it so you can see what size it is okay this is the one that they're sending free and this is the regular la vanilla but the one that they're sending is la vanilla coconut and what this one is a roll-on so this is perfect for having it in your purse so anyways i think that's a great deal especially for 25 percent off so this these are all the products i have for today so i want to do this next time when i do like compare different drugstore products that are supposed to do the same thing and which ones i like better and i would recommend to you guys better than you know one over the other again we all have different skins you know what works for me may not work for you but you may already own some of these products or you may be thinking about getting this if you can get this for the 2750 i think is what i paid for go for it this is amazing it really is a good foundation but when i run out of this even if this is still available i would continue with this one because it's just as beautiful my my face looks just as nice and it's 14 dollars cheaper so definitely so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this let me know if there's anything else you would like for me to compare for you um anything more perfumes i don't know nail polishes uh compare you know drugstore to a high end that do are supposed to do the same thing do i think the drugstore is better than the high end let me know give me some ideas if there's something you would like to see anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video i will see you on my next one i love you guys bye Mwah.